Greetings brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the channel. Take a look at this. So Jesus came to show us a way to a new relationship with God, freeing us from whatever binds us, reconciling us with God, with each other, and with ourselves. And so we pray. Wash away my sorrow, wash away my pain, with the rain and shine my light. Wash away my troubles, wash away my shame, in the rain and shine my light. God, so many of us can remember the first time we came to this place, for the ways that it moved us, for the ways that it has changed us. God, we are truly grateful for all of those things and for what it, this place continues to mean to us. Because God is with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to God. Who said the devil didn't have any power? That is such a lie. Look at what he did. He made these people believe that the things they are doing right here is of God. <laughs> these people are having church. They're having their so-called church. These men just like women. These women just like men. And they're having church. The devil will make us do things that is definitely contrary to God and his law look at this from the apostle he wrote you this and precept. he said Moses because of the hardness of your heart he wrote you this precept but from the beginning but of from the, the beginning of the world God made them male and female he wait 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 we from the beginning of what from the beginning of the creation what did god make god made them male and female well who made transgender mm. that's right that's right god already cleared himself that's right he told you what he made but from the beginning of from the, the creation, beginning of creation god made wait 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 mm. who did it god what did god do god made them male and female who made transgender mm. devil made that devil made that god testify what he made but from the beginning there's of only the creation. there's only two genders <laughs> there's only two genders in the bible that's it May I say there's only two genders in that Bible. That's right. God made them male That's and female. Am I right, man? Yeah. Hoorah! 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 That's right. There's only two genders. There's only you congressmen. Go ahead, brother. And the transgender community. Go ahead, man. They called the church about seven or eight times all last week, cussing us out. Said the LGBTQRST UVWXYZ, the alphabet soup community, supposed to be banding together. Lord. to go to every television station that air our program to get us off the air and they're supposed to be batting together My Lord. to come down fifth street at headquarters mm. to protest our preaching My Lord. i wish you hurry up and do it <laughs> that's right my stand is a bible stand oh yes the Bible points out two genders. But from the beginning of the creation. What? From the beginning of the creation. Since the world was made. God. God. Made them male and female. Just tell me is God a liar. That's it. That's all you got to do, homosexual community. That's right. Tell me God is a liar and prove it. And prove it. And if you prove God is a liar, mm. Pastor Jennings will wear pink hot pants and a yellow 
halter and lime green skeleto. My lord. <laughs> Well, that would be a sight, Pastor. <laughs> no, that would be a sight. All right, that's it. That's right. If you show me in the Bible. That's right. Don't you hear God talking? From the beginning of the creation. Give chapter and verse again. St. Mark chapter 10 and verse 6. And what? But from the beginning of the creation. From the beginning of creation. God. Who? God. The White House. God. No, Biden. God. Obama. God. That's it. Let me tell you political fake or something. Go ahead. President Biden, Barack, and the whole Democratic Party. Go ahead. God didn't leave it in your hands. No. To establish the law of marriage. No, no. The law of marriage was established by God himself. That's right. Am I right, I said? Who do you think you are? Go ahead. You political crooks. Go ahead, brother. How much authority you think you have? That's right. The law of marriage was instituted before you were born. Before you were born. Before you were born. And you transgenders who claim you don't know what a woman is. Oh, that much. It's your mama. Mama. All of you transgenders came from some woman's womb. That's right. None of you transgenders came from the womb of a transgender. That's right. You come from a woman. Unto the woman, he said. That's it. Are you listening? That's right. The Bible says in the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 3 and at verse 16. And what? Unto the woman he said. Unto the woman he said. I will greatly multiply thy sorrow. I will greatly multiply thine sorrow. And thy conception. And thine conception. In sorrow. In sorrow. Thou shalt bring forth thou children. Thou shalt bring forth children. And thy desire. And your desire. Shall be to thy husband. Shall be to your wife. Shall be to thy husband. Your wife. Thy husband. Your wife, thy husband, your wife, thy husband, your wife, thy husband, your wife, thy husband. That's it. That's right. I want to say again to all you presidents of Africa who's standing up against America and standing up against Europe. That's right. It doesn't matter if they try to boycott or embargo, set up an embargo to keep food and medication and grain and the necessity things for the African people. Amen. Because a man's behind <laughs> is more important to America. That's right. Than a starving child. Amen. <laughs> Amen. President Biden, Preacher. answer this question. Preacher. How is it you love a man's butt Go ahead. so much that you agree to not send the necessity things That's right. to the countries in Africa? That's right. How is it you Democrats yeah. threaten countries in Africa? Amen. Because they don't want their men polluting themselves. That's right. They don't want to give they behind Go ahead. up to another man. Go ahead. Think of it. Think of that. I don't want to give up my behind Amen. to a man. Yeah. And as a result of that decision, my child got to starve. That's right. I can't get medication. That's right. 
Africa, look to the Lord. That's it. From which cometh my help. That's right. My help. Come from the Lord. Go and say God. Hallelujah. Come from the Lord. That's it. That's it. Amen. You got to be a sick country. Yeah, that's it. That is sick. You got to be a sick country. My Lord. Say you are willing to let children and women starve My Lord, no. because you want to justify a man yeah. part in another man's behind. My Lord. Now My Lord. some of you church people, including you fake preachers, say that man is too raw. Yeah. He's too vulgar. <laughs> That's the word. That's the word. We call a spade a spade. That's right. And if any of you scared, you shouldn't be here. Or if you scared, you know, you can leave early. That's right. But when you leave early, don't you ever step foot in the church again. Yeah. Because Jesus said, if you were ashamed of me, I'd be ashamed of you. That's right. Amen. When are you church people oh, hey, going to stop going to church because it's Saturday or Sunday and really be committed? Yeah. Where is your godly commitment? That's it. That's it. When you are committed to him, not only will you live for him, you will die for him. That's right. People ask me, man, you talk about the government, aren't you afraid of what they do to you? Do what? Do what? Go, oh, you're in jail. Come on. <laughs> what do we care? That's right. Did not the apostles go to jail? Go to jail. Yeah. Hmm. You fake Christians. Go ahead, brother. Just go to church and carry a Bible. That's it. To decorate your arm. That's it. You're either for God or you're against him. Or you're against him. You either stand up for him. Oh, yes. Or you're going to bow to the powers of hell. That's right. That's so right. President Biden, you ain't got that much longer to live. Oh, oh my Lord, my Lord. The Lord of creation. Yes, Lord. He's going to smite you. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. You're not a Christian. No. Because a Christian not only follow Christ, they believe in him. They believe in him. It ain't a God-fearing, Christ-like man or woman justify same-sex marriage. No. Oh. Look how God is beating America. No. Earthquakes in direst places. Yeah. Floods in countries that don't have them. Yeah. Wiping out your land, wiping out your houses. That's right. God sent pestilence and turmoil. That's right. Take your daddy, take your husband, take your mother. Yeah. Washington! Go ahead. God is going to shake this wicked city. The White House. My Lord, my Lord. God is going to make an example out of you. My Lord. Congress. 
God is going to make an example out of you. My Lord. All right, listen. Go ahead, man. And he's not going to stop until the terror hit the Supreme Court. My Lord. Because there's only one real judge. Oh, yes. And God oh. is he. Is he. All the judges of the earth have to answer to the real judge. That's right. Are oh, you listening to the old man? That's right. Whoever thought, Whoever thought that Europe and America would be so loyal mm. to a man's behind. Amen. That they will cause, they, they want to starve countries out who won't accept same sex marriages. All the Caribbean islands, all of Africa, and all other countries in the world that are standing up against it. Yeah. Continue to stand against it. That's right. You churches who are so dedicated to your 5031. <laughs> you don't want to lose your 5031C. That's right. And that's why you won't say anything because. You get governmental subsidies for your senior citizens programs, and for your children programs, and you want to be a little quiet so your senior citizens can have their senior house and the children can have their children house. Yeah. And you ain't nothing but America's whore. That's all. That's right. Anytime the American government can dictate what you preach, you are America's whore. That's all. You're scared. Scared. You let the American government dare try to tell us what to preach. I laugh at you. That's right. That's right. Yes, you will. Well, we won't sponsor your program. We are happy without your sponsorship. <laughs> That's right. We refuse to compromise the size of a gnat's ankle. Yeah. Because the great God of heaven is not a toy. No. He's a real God. A real God. He's not to be played with. And God is not mocked. And he said unto me, there is no judge above God. Did you hear that? In 2 Esther chapter 7 and verse 19. There is. There is no judge. No judge. Above God. <laughs> Supreme Court. Yeah. Parliament of Europe. All the judges of America and the world. That's right. It proves that you are hypocrites because you have in your courthouses in God we trust. You a liar. The LGBTQRSTUBW group. <laughs> Some of the members said they're going to file a suit against me. What do I care? Please bring me to court. Please. <laughs> Give me the chance. Please. To challenge the entire courthouse and you. That's right. When I go, I let Williams know so we can pack up with Bible. That's, that's right. That's right. I mean, that's right, Pastor. Hey, Amen. That's right. I mean, you, you, you can't forbid me using Bible and then want to use Bible to swear me in. That's right. That's right. You can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. That's right. You so-called apostolic churches and Pentecostals, you don't have the respect of heaven. No. You are nothing but organized backsliders. That's it. You have played with the souls of thousands of sincere people. That's right. You played with the grandparents. You played with fathers and mothers, and now you're playing with generation after generation after generation. Yeah. Thank you for watching, brothers and sisters. Until next time, peace be.